Happy Day, I think. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, I guess, full house down there already. I'm okay. I'm uh, a little scared. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about tonight? I think, uh, well, I mean, it's been a long time coming, that's for sure. I mean, it's been a year since we've been in the studio. So it's nice to finally have something to celebrate. You know, once I think the first chorus and the first tune, you know, settle down. I think we hope. You know, well, maybe if you can take me back a bit. When did you first start singing? Oh, geez. Are you going to take me back? <laughs> I'll take you back. Um. Oh gosh, uh, probably. Well, you know, when I was a kid, just you know, coming up through school, and, you know, like everybody else. But how are you? There's this. There's a soloist, um, oh, when I was in my teens, I guess, first solo thing, it was at somebody's, one of my friend's weddings or something, and, uh, little did I know at that point, I bet the whole wedding funeral thing would turn into a full-time career in itself. <laughs> Mary to Barry, give me a call. Hello? Okay. I'm right in here. All right, here. Oh, here's Hi. your food. Oh, I don't even yeah, know if I need that. Something. Steve, I'm really not hungry. Eat a piece. Please. One piece. One piece. I insist. One piece. I'll eat one piece okay. of pita bread. All right, one piece. Hi. Were you downstairs yet? One piece. <laughs> Good crowd, eh? Yeah. Have you been down yet? Yeah, I guess there is a bit of a crowd. We don't have a big there's crowd. A, there's a few people down there, you know. Hi, Chippy. Yeah. Can I, just before Steve takes off there, uh, while well, I have you guys together, it's nice Do and it on quiet. The there, Pat. Nice no. and quiet. Like well, CBC or something. Free. We don't want to go out of the yeah. uh, In the right room? Right here. No, right here. It's just okay. lovely. In the right. bathroom. Where else? In the bathroom. Yeah. Just like behind yeah. How long have you guys known each other? You hired me in 80... God, I don't know. My memory shot. I'm old now. Okay. Uh, I've known each other since 82, 83, and then you hired me in 87. Okay. Mark I'll buy that. Mark Tone. I can't even remember when I married my wife, but you know. <laughs> no, no. I don't yeah. say that. <laughs> you're not filming that, are you? It's already on. No, no I can't. It was you're, you're just saying that for the camera, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. He's just being a yeah. joker. So you are, are you relaxed? I'm fine. That's all right? Yeah, no, I'm yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. It'll totally change how we'll get in there with the room. I know. The room will be different. So just relax. It's really weird easy. listening to the... To the the sound and the sound check because it was like, who the heck is that singing? And then I realized yeah. it was me coming back yeah. at me. Yeah. Sort of thing. Don't worry, it. look, it's, it's have fun. That's the important thing. Oh, I and will. the sound will have the oh, great fun. time. Don't worry about See, it. Just before I go. <laughs> well, yeah, we're all sitting at theaters. Oh, God, we you know, got to cheer up, Terry. You should look for your Terry's yeah. fine. Okay. Just fun. before you go, uh, just uh, while it's quiet here, because I was going to talk to you down there, but I might as well hear yeah. in the washroom where it's nice. And her music and her, her voice, I guess. How you feel about that? Well, I think uh, Terry's got a lovely voice, and uh, she's been so wonderful to uh, ask me to be her perform with her, which is great. And I like to play with many people, but I enjoy what, playing with Carrie very much because she's a great interpreter, interpreter of songs, and, and it's a real privilege to have somebody sing my songs too. Mm -hmm. uh, not everybody, you know, the phone doesn't ring off the hook, so it's real great. <laughs> You know, Rita and Mary called one day, but that's about it, you know, so you know, it's, uh, it's great to uh, work together. She's a, a, a huge load of fun to play with. How would you describe her voice? Well, I still the Atlantic vocalist in Canada, as far as I'm concerned, and I think she is. To me, well, one of my favorite singers is Mary Black, and Carrie's right up there with her. Carrie's right up there with her. So what is the, what's the uh, schedule for tonight now? Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have get, fun. Get I should get changed, and then we should have fun. Yeah. It's a party, that's all. Exactly. Okay. It's just a party. Lots Thanks, of friends. Friends. Okay, thanks, Steve. Okay. Do we need a piece of bread? I will eat a piece of bread. Uh, okay, well, we'll let you get fun. ready then. Today I've had a coffee and a birth control pill and a haul. In that order? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What's the hall for? I know what the other two are. To open up my, just, you know, to get rid of the grungy. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Right. So, yeah. Well, who's, who's out here? Is there, we out here, this is my, my husband, Pat. Introduce us to the folks out here. Paul. Hi, and Paul. this is my daughter, Hello. Olivia. My Let's go down and see Olivia. Olivia. Hello, Can you give me a nice little smile? Hi. How old are you? Five. Five? Olivia. How did you get that name? Wow. And what are you doing there? College. Oh, sure. 
you know what tonight is? What's going on tonight? Mommy's having a party. Why? Because she was doing her album. Right, excellent. Yeah. And how are you feeling tonight? Oh, not too bad. You know, uh, I really don't know what to say. It's just a, a busy time. And, you know, uh, no matter what you do, I think, in the music industry, it's always interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's well, quite a talent. Yeah, she does. I, uh, the first time I heard her sing, it uh, brought tears to my eyes. That's when I met her. I heard her singing in church. So, uh, what can I say? Yeah. Uh, it's just fell in love with her, right? Yeah. I've heard her in church many times, too, doing video weddings. You know, but I guess you got her first. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Uh, a little while back, but uh, I've seen her talent grow also through uh, a lot of talent that's in the, the East Coast and around Prince Edward Island. She seems to uh, naturally avail herself to, to learning more about music just through meeting people as she's doing right now. As you can see, there's friends crossing the middle. But there's another camera. They're all trying to get in, eh? Yeah. So we'll go down and say, get a few words yeah. from those folks. Yeah, I'll get out okay. Of from we'll them. we'll find out. There. Be okay, we'll find out who these folks are. Maybe I can get you to introduce uh, this them. Is my friend, this is my friend Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. <laughs> and this is Solomon. This is his first album launch. <laughs> can you smile, Solomon? That's Hi. pretty good. Look at those big yeah. eyes. And this is Jordan. He's going to be looking after hey. Solomon. Hi, Jordan. How are you? Maybe. <laughs> First babysitter, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. He's missing all the fun. Missing all the fun. But it's, missing you can always watch the video in 10, 12 years from now. <laughs> and right. say, is that me? As long as you get enough to eat, right? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Congratulations on your new CD, Carrie. Congratulations on the new CD, Carrie. <laughs> Excellent. What's your name? Quinner. Quinner. Oh, and who's this? Ariel. Ariel. Okay, well, we'll see you down there. Okay. Way to go, Carrie. Your CDs are a real big success. And you listen to it? Yep. Good. And what's your name? Jesse Garrett. Okay, so your dad's the manager. Yep. Nice. Okay, well, see you later. I'm a little nervous because I get to go first. Um, really excited to be here today and to be playing. Uh, love the music and uh, hope everything goes great for the CD. <laughs> You're an so Who do we have here? Oh, this is a big group. Do I look right in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Through the whole process, I found a husband. Red. Just, just now? <laughs> oh, man. <A> few words. <laughs> We love you very much, Carrie. <laughs> and you too, Sigrid. And what did you want to say to her? She oh, loves me very, she loves me very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Yeah, she's going to talk about him all the time. <laughs> oh, I said it. Oh, sorry. You better say it again. Oh, congratulations. Have a good time tonight. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, and we go over here. We couldn't hear you very well. What, you you didn't miss the roll. You got to do it again. Reggie yeah. roll. Well, I'm Red Bella, and uh, I carry now. We love you very much. Sure, man. Good luck on the How long have you known Carrie? Uh, a year now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I asked Steve that. He's still trying to figure out how long he's known her. <laughs> These hard questions, eh? Had a great time. Have a good, good lunch. Thank you. And over down here. Hi, Carrie. It's Jamie McSwain. Thanks for doing Broken Clock. You did a great job, and best of luck with the CD. Thank you. Okay. for the hospitality room. Yeah. Yeah. And the beer. I don't know if too many people have a hospitality room when they have a lunch. This will break her for Free sure. Beer, wine, man, oh, man. She's going to have to sell a lot of CDs to cover you guys. That's right. Absolutely. Okay, well, we'll see you down there. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Now. Now. Hi. Hi, I'm 
Nancy Malcolm Sharon and Steve's wife and I got to come along because we had Steve got to come along. Hi Carrie, congratulations. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is Wendell, my sidekick. Hi, I'm Michael Boyle and uh, I got to have a lot of fun on this album with Carrie Wynn and uh Gary. We've had a great time. All the best, Carrie Wynn. And you're playing tonight too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. Party on. <laughs> Great fun working with you, Carrie uh, Wynn. Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. Do it again. Hi, Lynn. I think it's a song. Yeah. How about you try it? You try it. I don't know it either. Oh, try. I heard you. Just give it a little try. I only know the first part. Well, do it. Let's hear you. Oh, gentle sea, to the shores of my island. Excellent. The only parts I know. Well, that was good. That was good, Olivia. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what. Musicians ain't the smartest people in the world or else a guy would quit after an applause like that before he does it and her doing it all. How you doing? How you doing? You behaving? Oh, God. That's funny. This thing was tuned when I bought it. How many people are here from Kings County? Oh! We choose to call it God's country. Out east. How many people here ran from Kings County? Yeah. We can heal ya. <laughs> Glad to be here tonight. Glad to be here with a friend and a co-Kings County conspirator in the music industry, Carrie Wynn McLeod, and a number of entertainers. My God, we're gonna be here till Wayne Newton's voice changes. So I'm gonna open up with uh, a song that I like to send out every once in a while to the College of Piping and the people who play bagpipes. Anybody here from Belfast? All right. How many people are Scottish? How many people are Irish? I gotta beat them half Irish and half Scottish, which means I love to drink, I just hate to pay for it. I gotta send you a song out about the bagpipes, and I was telling Alan McDonald that fiddlers and guitar players hate bagpipers because they're the only musicians on the island that are employed year round. In the summer, they play them as bagpipes, and in the winter, they use them as a snowblower to blow out their lanes and driveways. Used to have an old aunt and uncle that used to come home from the States and visit me all the time, and he always had a six string guitar that he tried to play, but before he did that, he brought a fiddle home. Any fiddle players here other than the McDonald's? I'm telling you, when the doctor when the doctor slapped them McDonald boys, they just fiddled. <laughs> they here. Anyway, my uncle wasn't like that. He came home from the States and he tried to fiddle and he'd play a slow air and we had a dog tune a slow air, the dog would howl. He'd play something a little bit quicker, like a jig or a reel, and the dog would whine louder. Then he'd play something really fast and the dog would just completely cry and old uh, turns McGinnis next door says, for Christ's sake, fiddler, play something that the dog don't know. <laughs> so the next summer he comes home and we're watching when they come home with a visit. He comes home and he goes to empty out the station wagon and we're watching as kids. We're not watching for the treats and the clothes they're bringing. We're watching to make sure he didn't bring that Jeezley fiddle with him. <laughs> he did worse. He brought the six string and I'm going to send this one out to Shelley. It's called when Granddad played the six string. Oh, when Granddad played the six string, he played it every day. All day long, right or wrong, he'd just pick it up and play. He'd play fast and slow songs, happy songs and sad. But everything that Granddad played, it always sounded bad, he went. Oh, when Granddad played the six string, oh, it stunk. Well, he'd tune it in the morning, he'd tune all afternoon. And when he was finally satisfied, the thing still wasn't tuned. 
He asked us, hey, what do you want to hear? We said, nothing, please. But he'd play something anyway, and we all had to leave. Then one day, Granddad's six string got run over by a truck, driven by Grandma. And Granddad said, bad luck. He went down to the music store and asked them what they had. I think it was Peplers. And when he brought the bagpipes home, we had to shoot Granddad. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. Lots of artists here and lots of friends of artists, but we're all here to see one artist, a young lady that played the waiting game, as I'm concerned, in the music industry. She watched and she let everybody else proceed with their own little agendas and do their own things. Always a well-trained, always a well-disciplined, and always a well-liked performer in the capital of where music happens, Kings County, and always a perennial at any time there was a cause to help out with. And finally, she decided, with a lot of help and encouragement from her friends, that she just might put out an album. Well, she sure did. The moon upon the left, please welcome the girl of the night, Carrie Wynn McLeod. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, but uh, we felt it was better to dress for the occasion than be naked, so it took us a little while, and Steve was up in the room there. Paint <laughs> Steve was up there painting his toenails and stuff, and oh, all this stuff, all these guys, makeup, 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 they drive you crazy. <laughs> anyway, finally, finally, we've uh, come to this night. Um, after, uh, I guess it's almost a year, I guess, since we went into the studio and a uh, number de of delays along the way, and it's just nice to have something to celebrate. Olivia, this song's for you, sweetie. See, this is the wonderful thing about being just a singer. I don't have to plug in, I don't have to do, you know, anything except open my mouth, and all this technical stuff just baffles me. <laughs> this is a wonderful little song about uh, children and all the questions that they ask, and uh, usually at the most embarrassing moments. Um, this is a song that was written by uh, the gentleman who's hosting the evening here for us, Mr. Urban Carmichael, so we can just give you a little... Oh. 
taught the crickets to sing and who plants a dandelion gardens in spring and how do you cheer up a cloud when it cries if seagulls can swim how come fishes can't fly and tell me where do the snowmen go early each year they're never around when the robins get here i ask them but they never open their mouths when robins go north do the snowmen go south will i be pretty or will i be wise with dad's kind of hair your kind of eyes oh what will i be and what will i questions I value more highly than pearls and when she's no longer her mom's little girl I'll fondly recall with a tear in my eye her how comes her who's what's her where's when's and why's yes I'll relive the walks that we took in the wild and stop for a moment to cry like a child I think of the days she thought butterflies were just little flowers that fluttered on by will i be pretty or will i be wise with dad's kind of hair your kind of eyes oh what will i be and what will i know where did i come from where did i come from tell me where did i come from and where will i Thanks, Urban. Thank you. Wonderful song. You got a better voice, Urban, too, tonight. <laughs> 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 Just how much I really love you. Have I sat you down and looked you in the eyes? There's times I haven't been too smart, tossing dice and throwing darts, playing snakes and ladders with your heart. Have I told you just how much I really need you? Have I listened to your We've had a share of bark and bite. Let the sting live through the night and laugh again in the changing of the light. It's a daffodil spring, the fiddle swings. Pockets full of love can make one sing. It's a tartan fling, my heart takes wing. Do you believe? Side thing. Have I told you just how much I really love you? Have I sat you down and looked you in the eyes? Have we danced a summer night away? Kept a winter chill at bay and dreamed of every place we'll never stay. Have I told you just how much I really need you? Have I listened to your worries in my arms? Have 
Have I said the things that need be said? Showed you when you've come to bed You're the start of every dream I'll ever have It's a daffodil spring The fiddle swings Pockets full of love can make one sing It's a tartan fling My heart takes wing Do you believe in that? It's a daffodil spring, the swift fiddle swings, and pockets full of love can make one sing. It's a tartan fling, my heart takes wing. Oh, I believe in that old love at first sight. Believe in love at first sight. I believe in that old love at first sight thing. Yeah. yeah. does my heart take wing but I think my brain has too <laughs> but Karen Addy I saw you and you knew the right words <laughs> don't be nobody's allowed to sing the right words as it's on the album in case I decide to change it okay there's a little test at the end of the show so you say oh you sang that verse before you're saying this one on the album this is a beautiful song that was written by uh, my wonderful friend and guitar player, songwriter, instrumentalist, at one time my boss, <laughs> but no longer. <laughs> Sometimes daylight comes too early And darkness stays too late Crickets make their moon call Like lovers make the same mistakes Like falling into sinking sands Beneath a thousand stairs Every time she says she loves him Is a saying getting old to end Sometimes words can come so easy Or sometimes not at all he just wouldn't listen or even try to break a fall. The cry of distant thunder when lightning strikes the ground. To him it's just a forecast, but to her it's a familiar sound. Love is the fire in the rain Love is the passion in the flame Love is the spirit in the soul And the bridge that takes its toll Love is the fire in the rain Love is an everlasting stain Love is the promise to never part and a hole in the heart. Sometimes hurt goes undercover, but the eyes betray the face. Of ice in need 
of a cold embrace. Flakes of snow start falling and melt upon the ground. It's just another forecast with that old familiar sound. Love is the fire in the rain. Love is the passion in the flame. Love is the spirit in the soul. And the bridge that takes its toll. Well, love is the fire in the rain. Love is an everlasting stain. Love is the promise to never part And a hole in the heart 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 said that. You're more prolific than I am. You're supposed to be like really flowery and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, lots of fishing. <laughs> the song says it all, so you can figure out what it says there if you like it or not. Shall we, shall we do it? Given checks hardly worth the while For our livelihood has vanished Like the line at 200 mile Foreign trawlers have taken many But we are not without some blame How I wish that they were and no pawns were in this game. When he heard the woeful story, worse than any grand bank squall, Charlie Penny launched his story to make one last final the fish he netted that day. Well, he counted most carefully, and he set them free for his grandson so they might one day know the sea. Four hundred years of fishing, and for that we give up. Thanks, but tradition only lasts as long as the card run the banks. Well, the card it was 
our future and Lord knows it's been our past but the greed has claimed so many that the present will not last oh we never thought we'd found her or that the fish would be so few now the boats they rust and we've lost our trust in what we thought was true four hundred years of fishing and for that we give our thanks but tradition only lasts as long as the card run on the banks now charlie penny's nets are brittle and he hopes his heart won't crack for his grandsons and forever he will pray the fish come back i said it's four hundred years of fishing the card run on the banks. Four hundred years of fishing, and for that we give our thanks. But tradition only lasts as long as the card Thanks. Sigrid, are you there? <laughs> Sigrid, are you there? passage in there by a woman named Mary Gapper, and uh, she has a beautiful line about, uh, oh, it's in this song, I think here, uh, bless, what's the one about the, bless, the land, help me out there, it's been a while, I don't sing this, so, uh, anyway, when you get to the part where the land is blessed and free, or uh, something like that, land. she smelled the land, that's right, when she crossed the boat, came across the boat, uh, everybody was sick and dying and everything in the ship near the coast or whatever. This is about 1831 or something like that uh, that this happened. And she actually was able to smell the land and it gave her such joy in her heart that they were finally going to get off the roller coaster of the sea and make it to land. So that's what this song is sort of about. Uh, it's called Stormy Girls. We're going to get a cigarette roll for you guys. It's for you, Wendell. I think Wendell likes this song. Yeah. It's for you, my friend. It's for Wendell. <coughs> when first 
first I ever laid my eyes upon him And caught the smile that made me turn away Was a moment that stole the very breath within me Forever it did lead my heart astray From that day on I never saw another From that day on he never left my gate He promised me his love and lasting embrace. My laddie said that he would never leave me. My laddie said his heart beat at my side. My laddie loved me like there was no other Forever swore my laddie we'd abide took passage on a voyage bound for tomorrow. Through tears we watched the wave of empty hands. And the starving hearts were left to greater hunger. It never calmed an hour. The rack of fever preyed on every clan. And after weeks of being fodder for the ocean. land my laddie said that he would never leave me my laddie said his heart beat at my side my laddie loved me like this no other and forever swore my laddie we'd abide my laddie said that he would never leave me oh my laddie was forever But after 54 days on a sick and stormy crossing, within a mile of shore, my laddie died.
Sigrid Rolf on the tin whistle. <laughs> We're going to finish up this first set uh, with another tune written by Mr. Sherrett. Sorry, Sunrise, the Mimnagash Moon. <laughs> raised on a wind-blowing shore. His father went fishing, his mom was ignored. She told him to try something grander than here and not spend his life coiling rope on the pier. He met a sweet one, Cyrilina O'Rourke. She strayed to the docks where he worked as a cork. She cast him a look and she swallowed his line, but he gave her much less than befit her sweet kind. Neath the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon, wild is the wind or the dune. Neath the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon, red clay in a salt water too. Some reckless, oh, he liked to roam, seeking favors with others while she stayed at home. The only love, and he did well, it drove them apart. She clung like a weed to the shell of his heart. He kept at his rambling, all he brought her was pain. To poor Cyrilina, he was nothing but rain. Headed west for the harvest, left her alone, never knowing he'd return to find a son who's half grown. Neat the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon, butter skies melt in the sea. Neat the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon, the wind dances wild. On a cold, windy shore, old man still fishing, old woman still ignored, and he misses the sweetest heart he'd ever know. Back on the boat where the tide runs ashore, neath the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon, wild is the wind or the dune. Neath the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash. Moon, red clay in a salt water tune. Neat the sorry sunrise and a mimnagash moon. Butter skies melt in the sea. Neat the sorry sunrise, a mimnagash moon. The wind dances wild, dances free.
sit, listen to some more music, get up and get a drink, do as you please, because this, my friends, is a party. Nothing formal to happen in this room tonight. I want you to know that right now. Okay, Urban, you're on. solitudes that create Canada as they are truly a national entertainer and I envy his bilingualism because I'm still having trouble with metric. Please welcome Rail Pelleche. Van Morrison did come out with this many, many years ago, about 25. But on such a lovely evening as tonight, and since the moon is either to the left or to the right, I can't remember, uh, this is about a moon dance. night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes fantabulous night to make romance neath the cover of October skies and all the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breezes that blow and I'm trying to please to the calling of your heartstrings that play soft and low you know the nights Magic seems to whisper and hush And the soft moonlight seems to shine In your blush well, Can I just have one more moon dance With you, my love? Can I just make some more romance With you, my love? Well, I want to make love to you tonight can't wait till the morning has come Now know now the time is just right Straight into my arms you will run And when you do my heart will be waiting To make sure that you're never alone There and then all my dreams will come true dear There and then I will make you my own And every time I touch you you just tremble inside, that's how I know how much you want me there. You can't hide, can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, my love? night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes fantabulous night to make romance neither the cover of October skies nor the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breezes that blow and I'm trying to please to the calling of your heartstrings that play soft and low and you know the night's magic Seems to whisper in her and the soft moonlight seems to shine in your blush. Well, can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, my love? One more moon dance with you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, Chad. It's going just fine. 
Good show. Everybody's happy as a clam. Good show, eh? Happy as a whitewashed pig. The show's great. You want to say a few words to Gary Wynn on this tape here? I just did. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye, Gary Wynn. Have a good night. I am. Yeah, we went up to the room. Oh, yeah. You shot quiet time. Nice Anything vulgar? Nice smile, huh? So are you pleased with the first set? Oh, yeah, well, you know, the nerves are starting to settle down a little bit, Pat. It was great. Oh, thanks. A few mess ups in the words. Hey, it's my party. <laughs> <laughs> and I can mess up if I want to, exactly. I'll let you go. All righty, thanks, Pat. going to dance. We have a piece of plywood and I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we have a dance group. Uh, is Steve around anywhere? <laughs> Megan and I will start this off and maybe Steve will come back. Maybe he'll come back and join us in a minute.
I'll show you something to make you change your mind. She's up here a little bit. Uh, she's sliding down on me. There. Technology. This never happens in the Hall of Norwell. <laughs> Have you seen the old girl that walks the streets of London? The dirt in her hair and her clothes in rag. Got no time for talking, she just goes right on a walking. Carrying the world in her to carry her back. So, how can you tell me that you're lonely? Oh, save for you, the sun don't shine. Let me take you by the hand, lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. In that all-night cafe at a quarter past eleven, the same old man sitting there. of his teacup each tea lasts an hour and he wanders home alone so how can you tell me that you're lonely oh say for you the sun don't shine streets of London, I'll show you something to make you change your mind. Have you seen the old man outside the seaman's mission? His memory fades like the ribbons that he wears. city, the rain cries out little pity, one more forgotten hero in a world that doesn't care, so how can you tell me that you're lonely, oh say for you the sun don't shine. and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something make you change your mind. Well, this is another great song of Prince Edward Island and uh, I'm sure you know the words of this one too. How you can talk about London, Paris and Spain. Talk about Texas, Kentucky and Maine. But there's a little island I long there to be. Prince Edward Island is heaven to me. Well, the shores are so pretty, 
and her fields are so green, her roads are so winding with such pretty scenes, and the air is so pure, and the people so gay, in Sedward Island I'm coming to stay. Well, there's hunting and fishing and swimming galore As the sun shines so bright on her long golden shore Well, the Lord made this island for all men to see Prince Edward Island is heaven to me Well, there's thousands of islands in this land of ours, like the dots on the ocean, the dew on the flower. But a touch of God's great hand, this island must be, for Prince Edward Island is heaven to me. You can talk about London and Paris and Spain. Talk about Texas, Kentucky and Maine. But there's a little island I long there to be. Prince Edward Island is heaven to me. Well, I'm going to bring on our, our star guest, our host of the evening, Carrie Wynn, because I was very honored that uh, she chose to sing a song that I put together uh, about a year, actually about a year ago this time is when the song arrived into this world. And it was a song that pays tribute to those uh, heroes of the past that went across Northumberland Strait in ice boats. And uh, so if Carrie Wynn is back there somewhere, here she comes. Six men found their way at the cold break of day for Cape Travers from the Tormentine shore. And the sky, it seemed right, not a storm cloud in sight, such a sight had fooled many before. With our bow line and tow, through the ice and the snow, we were three or four miles from the bay. There ahead stood a wall, giant boulders so tall, old nor'easter had pushed in our way. Hook your strap and your chain to the gunwale again. Heave hearty, me boys, all the way. Over ridges we'll go, through the blizzard of snow. We'll be home by the end of the day. It was with great delight we beheld the sweet sight. Open water came into our view. Oars in and away, on our course we will stay. We'll make up for lost time if we do. 
soon the rowing got tough and the water got rough we rode high on the slush under keel with our paddles we'll try through the lolly to ply till we feel solid ice under heel hook your strap and your chain to the gunnels again heave hearty me boys all away over ridges we'll go through the blizzard of snow we'll be home by the end of the day We were lashed to her side when a crack opened wide and into cold water we fell. With a tug on the cord, Campbell brought us on board. We were saved from a fate none can tell. On a ribbon of red, on the shoreline ahead, the church steeple reached up to the sky. What a welcoming sight on this canvas of white, like a beckoning light from on high. Hook your strap and your chain to the gunnels again. Heave hearty, me boys, all away over as we'll go through the blizzard of snow we'll be home by the end of the day there's a price you must pay on a cold winter day if you cross the Northumberland Strait and the cost may be grim if you lose life or limb for the wind and the tides hold your fate hook your strap and your chain to the gunnels again heave hearty me boys all away Over ridges we'll go Through the blizzard of snow We'll be home by the end of the day Well, if you don't curb that now. <laughs> Who's here from Montague? I, I haven't had a chance really to, uh, to see. Who's left in Montague? Yeah. This is wonderful. Now I can see you. And there's uh, way at the back table, all my friends from the, uh, the board of directors of the King's Playhouse. And we have a wonderful season coming up there this year. 
So make sure you come down. Um, as you probably know, I'm doing this so I can see your faces. So I know I look really weird, but that's okay. Because it's my party and I can look any darn way I want. Um, who doesn't own a CD? Who's going to admit that? Right here, right now. Free admission to get in, but you have to buy a CD or a cassette if you want to go home. What do we have for breakfast? For breakfast, we'll be having yeah. <laughs> CDs, yeah. CD it's a pretty song uh, called Lovers. come without warning and take you by surprise when you think you must make it alone sooner or later the presence is only a memory but you know that without them you'd never have rolled back the stone as lovers lie sleeping I find myself traveling toward you the morning arises the wind is as soft as a sigh means praying is just an illusion the pain and the passion the tears and the laughs and the lies my darling once told me that loving was better than living I can't live without him I thought I'd feel different but somehow I still feel the same Then what price the game we are playing? And what price the man who has not got the money to pay? Whatever's before me is nothing to what I have come through. Somehow I still 
feel the same. Mr. Wendell Boyle. Anastasia Darash on fiddle. Mr. John Reeder on bass. And my wonderful friend, Mr. Reg Bala on percussion. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, are you there? Has anybody seen Steve? Here he comes. He's away. Is he I know a guy named Steve. <laughs> He's back there, Jamie? He's coming. Okay. I'm just going to move a little bit. Is that okay with you, Pat? <laughs> Studio owners. Um, I quickly found out that that was very possible and that. Um, I didn't have to leave to do this at all. It was all done right here, and I'm very, very proud of that. And uh, PEI uh, can certainly hold its head high with uh, all the other musicians in the entire world, don't you think? Yeah. Well, the first one we picked is the one we lowered the key. Yeah, let's not do it. And um, I know he really, 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 really hates when I do this, but um, again, it's my party, and I can do whatever I want. Um, check, check, sound. Check, check. What are you going to do? Are you talking? What are you it's just you just tune up there. Um, the first thing uh, that I had to do um, in selecting music, and we really were inundated with uh, songs from uh, island songwriters and it was really hard to get it pared down from possibly 70 possibilities to 13 and um, I couldn't have done it uh, the pairing down <laughs> without Steve because every day he'd call and say I want 10 more off that list by the time I come out there to rehearse tomorrow afternoon and uh, so we'd have to do, I'd have to do that I was feeling pressure um, but the second thing I had to do was find a producer for the album. And uh, for me, there really was only one choice, and there still is. That's because I work cheap. That's right. <laughs> he's, he's free and he works. Yeah. He's cheaper than you can even imagine. <laughs> and I can imagine some pretty cheap things, but um, Steve's right there. I uh, definitely couldn't have done it without him and didn't want to do it without him. Um, and then fortunately, he's also a wonderful songwriter. And uh, he offered me many gems, although some he didn't offer at all. I had to actually go snooping through some of his stuff to find, uh, to find some of them. But this is a song that, um, that, didn't find. that I didn't find there. <laughs> This. I don't know who wrote this. Maybe somebody out there. Anybody knows who wrote this? this um, let us know. It's a song called Hard Times. Let us pause in life's pleasure and count its many tears while we all sup and sorrow with the poor. Now there's a song that will linger forever in our ears. All oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, a sigh, of the weary hard 
times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around the cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a sign that is wafting across the troubled waves. There's a whale that is heard upon the shore. And there's a dirge that is murmured around the lonely grave. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, a sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered around the cabin door times come again no more. Now there's a pale drooping maiden who toils her life away with a sad heart whose better days are more. And though her voice would be merry, tis crying all the time. Oh, Hard times come again no more. Tis a song, a sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around the cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. For many days you have lingered around the cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. Thank you. Steve and I like to call this the, <laughs> the set where either somebody's leaving or dying or going away or something. So, you know, for all you gentlemen there that, you know, may not want to get in touch with your sensitive side, now might be a good time to go to the bar. <laughs> Lantern. For his 
always return With every storm that rocks this coast I make the fire burn Can he see They say his ship, it ran aground And every hand was lost I'll walk these cliffs all winter long Till my heart is numb with frost I swore to him we'd never part couldn't save his drowning heart And it's only when he's near Will I be right? Will he see my lantern burn On this pitch black coast tonight? Will he know my heart beats strong, a beacon of sweet light? Can he see my frightened eyes? Can he hear my trembling cries? And it's only when he's near, will I Thank you. We are in B? Yeah. yeah. This is a song off the album that was written um, by one of our wonderful island songwriters, Mr. Jamie McSwain. And um, I think this was the second song that I had, um, or that I was very, very sure of the first time I heard it that I wanted to do this and, and put it on the album and um, I'm glad that uh, Jamie let us do it. It's called Broken Clock. Like grains of sand in an hourglass, but when you went away, time it stopped. Now my heart's like a broken clock. When I held love in my hand And all my life Like a river ran But river beds run dry 
and turned to rock. Now my heart's like a broken clock. Time moves on, but not for me. upon my street and when I dare to dream of love again and see my times in this prison end your memory comes to me and my cell it locks oh my heart's like a broken clock my heart's like a broken clock Not for me, people pass like ghosts upon my street. Once I held love in my hand and all my life like a river ran. but when you went away time it stopped now my heart's like a broken clock my heart's like a broken clock. Thank you. Thanks. And would you please welcome the author of that song, Mr. Jamie McSwain. Well, thank you, Carrie Wynn, for your kind words, and I'm flattered and honored uh, by your version of Broken Clock and for deciding to include it on your CD. You have a wonderful CD on your hands, and best of luck with that. There was an article in the Eastern Graphic last fall where uh, uh, Carrie Wynn's voice was compared to other Atlantic Canadians, and it was said that it could m measure up to any other voice in Atlantic Canada. I think you could take that one step further. For me, she's got a, a world-class voice. Then you 
can see all the plans that you made, how you cast them aside in the heat of the day. And the old man cries at how things went wrong, and he wonders where his life has gone. He says, time and life go by as if a dream. I live today to make all memories. Tomorrow's promise, what will it tell? When you look deep in, ah, deep in the well. your eye, but you sit on them go by. Plans that you make hesitate and then postpone till you find that you're left with your dreams all alone. And the old man cries at how things went wrong and he wonders where his life has gone. He says, time and life go by as if a dream. I live today to make memory. Tomorrow's promise, what will it tell? When you look deep in, I'll deep in the well. And the old man cries at how things went wrong. And he wonders where his life has gone.
Thanks.